Let's go back to the five and a half teams. Today is Monday, September the 5th, 2022, 11.45 a.m. Today is a Labor Day holiday in Canada and the United States. Here is the cryptocurrency news in five minutes or less. Bitcoin's dominance has fallen from 40% down to 38.6%, and Ethereum and the seed map from coinmarketcap.com is at 19.85% of the total cryptocurrency market. This heat map is from Coin360, showing the Luna Square is from Bitcoin. We have Ethereum here and others. The top uh, cryptocurrencies from CoinMarketCap.com. Bitcoin is in number one, Ethereum is in number two. We have Cardano in seventh place, Solana ninth, Tenth place is Polkadot. Dogecoin has fallen to 11th. Shiba Inu is at 14th. The total cryptocurrency market capitalization in US dollars, this is for the entire world, has fallen below $1 trillion and is now at around $974 billion. Price of Bitcoin is up slightly at $19,921 US dollars. Ethereum is at $15.99. Cardano has dropped 1.6% at $0.49. Cents. Solana is at $31.84 per coin, rising slightly. Dogecoin has dropped 1%. The cryptocurrency greed and fear index is at 23 according to this website. And that is extreme fear. It's down from 24 last week. Here are some news items related to cryptocurrency. There are some analysts speaking about the stock symbol COIN for Coinbase, a crypto exchange based in the United States. And according to one analyst from Barclays, positive, but then there's a one bad rating from Mizuho analyst Dan DeLev is more pessimistic and says uh, Coinbase's trading volume is continuing to disappoint, it's falling over the last few quarters and the market share has declined 3% and he says uh, that's despite uh, spending money on marketing. He has a $42 price tag for stock symbol COIN with a neutral rating. Here we have from Yahoo Finance reporting that Nigeria in Africa plans to create a virtual free zone with Binance crypto exchange. And they say it's similar to what is in Dubai's virtual free zone in Dubai in, in December uh, last year Binance agreed to help Dubai establish an industry hub for global digital assets and Nigeria in Africa is trying to do the same and this is another article from ambcrypto.com they say that Nigeria is one of the first countries in Africa and the world to adopt cryptocurrencies and the country has one of the highest rates of cryptocurrency adoption. Currently over 22 million crypto users, or around 10% of the Nigerian population. In the stock market, a reminder that in North America, the stock markets are closed for today, for the Labor Day holiday. But these are prices from the last week. Um, currently today, in real time, in Asia, the stock markets were mixed. In Europe, the markets are closed. And as I mentioned, in North America and South America, uh, the stock market was mixed in the last trading day of Friday. Here are some <coughs> United States stocks. Coinbase Global, we mentioned that earlier, is from some analyst uh, reviews. Stocks of COIN. Price per share is $65.26 in American currency, and it has dropped uh, slightly. We have Robinhood Markets in the United States, traded on the Nasdaq.
Goldman Sachs simply control ED dropping around 2%. FTX token USD rising slightly, $26.39 a share. The micro strategy has been dropping quite a bit in the last month. Uh, they were around $350 a share one month ago, and right now are at $218 per share. And slightly unchanged on Friday. We see the price drop from $350 on August 12th to uh, September 2nd, price around $218. Marathon Digital Holdings, symbol MARA, is at $11.38 per share, dropping around 1%. Greenwich General Holdings is at $2.20, dropping around 3.5%. We have VanEck Digital Transformation Exchange Traded Fund, symbol is DAPP, and they dropped around 1% in the last trading day. We have Stronghold Digital Mining, symbol SDIG, rising at a strong 3.5%. Pro Shares Bitcoin Strategy Exchange Traded Fund was slightly unchanged. We have Riot Blockchain traded on the NASDAQ with symbol RI dropping around 3.2% in the last trading day. Hunt 8 Mining Corporation, symbol HT, um, they are dropping at around 2.5% in the last trading day. We have a few Canadian stock quotes from the last trading day. Uh, the prior close, the Ether Fund, symbol QETH, was at $30.95 in Canadian currency dropping around a half percent. We have the Beta Pro Inverse Bitcoin Exchange Traded Fund, the symbol BITI, that was uh, dropping around half a percent as well. BitFarms Limited, their stock price in Canadian currency is $1.61. We have one stock symbol from the United Kingdom. This is priced in British pounds, Argo Blockchain, PLC, uh, 38.09 British pounds, dropping a whopping 8% on the last trading day. Here's a meme. And the quote is, I heard you can buy a dip and sell high. That was your five minute crypto news for today. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos on YouTube. And thanks for watching.